Well, folks, it's made by LucasArts. Of course, it's Monkey Island. However, with a twist, we are now playing the Special Edition. I kid you not. And I've looked at the Special Edition for a long time, deciding whether I wanted to go with it or not. We're going to go with it. This was a Let's Play that I did originally, back in... It was a good while ago. I honestly can't remember the date when I did the last one. However, for anyone who's played the Special Edition, LucasArts out did themselves. They absolutely rocked with this version. Without further ado, folks, let's get started. Ron Gilbert, I salute you, my friend. Now look at that, folks. What a beautiful opening that is. I'm going to let all this play. In fact, I'm going to shut up, so enjoy the music. Streetwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. <laughs> Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. Hey, that's a bit harsh. But if you're serious about pirating, go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck! Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? The scum bar. Right. Thanks. You know, I am really, really excited about this. Oh, look at this, folks. I mean, LucasArts, you have excelled yourself, honestly. Look at this. And now, the really amazing thing, I can't even imagine how they did it. I'm not a computer programmer myself, so I don't have a clue. But, if we press a button, honestly, oh, it, it just blows me away. Absolutely amazing. So we are obviously going to be playing this in the sort of new version, really. Because I, I always like to bring something new to a game that I do. And I think this is something new, because I mean, the quality is amazing and the graphics are improved. Obviously there's no talking lines in the first one, so this is a major, major overhaul for this game. But I am excited. Oh, I've been thinking about doing this one for a while. And I was umming and ahhing about whether to keep doing, like, redo the original one on DOS, or invest in this. And now that I've invested in this, holy crud, amazing. Ahoy there, stranger. Ahoy. New in town. Hi. My name's Guybrush Threepwood. I'm new in town. Guybrush Threepwood? Yes. <laughs> What are you laughing at? 
That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. What's your name then? Well, what's your name? My name is Mancom Seepgood. <laughs> so, what brings you to Melee Island, anyway? <laughs> I like that name. None of your business. Goodbye. Well, excuse me, Mr. Secretary. Well, I would have been nicer to you, but you laughed at my name. Meanie. Now, this guy's interesting to talk to. Hi. He will only say I unless you ask him about Loon, as his little sign says. So, tell me about Loon. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects, not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects and magic spells. <laughs> Beat the rush! Go out and buy Loon today! Of course, the only issue with that is that as a sale sales pitch even for Loon, which was a game that was released roughly the same time as the original Monkey Island. The only problem is, it's probably not even sold anymore. Jeez, what an obvious sales pitch. Sorry, but on some topics I just get carried away. He's a funny guy. He's talking to you. Oi. I mean again, just going back to other games I've done. I love it that some games like this took the mick out of themselves and put little things out of the games in. What be ye but, boy? I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy, you bother us. What be ye but, boy? I want to be a fireman. I want to be a fireman. I get lost, boy, you bother us. Fine. What be ye but, boy? I want to be a pirate. I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this holy chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag. And no swag means no grog. And we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Come on. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Wow. That's impressive. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through the, the three, three trials. trials. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, what three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword and the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. <laughs> right. You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Sword play, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. Well, that sounds easy enough. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. You're a bunch of foul-smelling, grog-swilling pigs. To be a pirate, you must also be a foul-smelling, grog-swilling pig. Hmm, fair enough. I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. You're very friendly for pirates, I have to admit. Now, before we leave the bar, the scum bar... I'm just waiting for this door to open. Now, I don't know if I can actually stand here and it'll open automatically, or if I have to go in the next room.
Hmm. Ah, oh, there he is. I didn't hear the door, though. Ooh, damn. Flipped off the screen, then. Hey! Don't go into the kitchen! Damn, have you caught me already? Nope. Haha! <laughs> into your kitchen I go. It's some sort of meat, or meat-like substance. Let's pick it up, then. We'll also pick up the pot. And there's also... This fish. However, to get it, you have to get rid of that nasty seagull. Douche. Douche. Hey, look, I can make a seagull fly. But wait, can't they already fly? Douche. So now we have a piece of meat, a pot, and a fish. Nice. There's one more guy I want to speak to in here. Who should be able to give us a bit of a backstory. I think it's this guy. What are you looking at me for? Mm, you've got a very nice eye. Does the name LeChuck mean anything to you? Does the name LeChuck mean anything to you? LeChuck? Yes. He's the guy that went to the governor's for dinner and never wanted to leave. He fell for her in a big way, but she told him to drop dead. So he did! Ooh. Then things really got ugly. How did things get ugly, may I ask? How did things get ugly? The chalk was a fierce pirate. He tried to impress the governor by sailing off to find the secret of Monkey Island. But a mysterious storm came up and sank his ship. Survivors. We thought that that was the end of the fearsome pirate, Lechuk. We were wrong. Oh. And what I really like about <laughs> the Secret of Monkey Island is whenever you see Secret of Monkey Island, there's always a trademark next to it, which I really find quite funny. And what happened then? He still sails the waters between here and Monkey Island. His ghost ship is an unholy terror upon the sea. That is why we are all in here and not out pirating. Hmm, fair enough. Uh, excuse me, can you tell me where the dartboard is? Excuse me, but I'm looking for the dartboard. Dartboard? We don't have one anymore. There was a horrible accident. Drinking and darts don't mix. Hmm, I think that was his eye. Shall we ask him about it? What happened to your eye? Well, I was putting in my contact lens when... Hey, wait a second. That is none of your business. <laughs> oh god, I love this remake. Bye. Right. Right, that's everything you need from here, folks. Meanwhile... Ooh. Deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> Uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be dead. Oh, yes, sir. Glad to be dead. <laughs> you are glad to be dead, right? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I, I feel so lucky that you happened to capture my ship and murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Uh, y yes, sir. Well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? Me. I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. That's what she said. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take it care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. 
My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Who are you calling an amateur? Yes, sir. Hmm. So that is the ghost pirate of Chuck. Scary things. Now, interestingly enough, I do know what to do in this game because I've played it many times. But the whole sort of, I suppose, <sighs> some people might not like this game because some people I know are hardcore original, like, and don't get me wrong. To be quite honest, I mean, look at this. It has stayed true to the original. It's basically just updated the graphics, really. Now, if someone could do the same thing for an XCOM game, exactly as LucasArts handled this, I mean, it'd be amazing. I think you'd agree. Now, we're going to go in this house. Uh, I think I hear slithering inside. Ugh. Maybe no one will miss just this one thing. So he picked up a rubber chicken. Oh, yes. What may I help you with, son? Um. How much for this keen looking chicken? Ah, I sense the guilt of stealing my chicken grows. Take it. It's yours. Oh. Huh. Why don't you want it? Is it jinxed with an ancient voodoo curse? No. The pulley squeaks. <laughs> you know, it's really interesting actually hearing these lines actually acted out, because the actors are doing quite a good job so far. Uh, can you read palms? So, my mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Hmm. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen yes, to me. Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. Ugh. I see you taking a voyage. A long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Nice. Yeah. I see... What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Ugh. Wait. Well, a bit kinky, it's I suppose. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Well, oh, thank you very much, strange voodoo lady. Yikes! Nice party trick. Right then, we now need to go to the village shop. Or the island shop, I should say. Oh, pissed. Who's talking to us? Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? Hello. You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Mm, okay. Let's be cocky. Yeah, and bad things happen to people who sneak up on other people from behind. So, you're gonna give me a little attitude, huh? I am. I better get your name. My name is... I'm Guybrush Threepwood. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a mighty pirate. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. <laughs> Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. 
a very bad time. Why? My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. You're a bit sort of naive, Guybrush. I don't think he likes you very much. Now, for Mr. Sheriff Shinetop, I always remember at school, because I was like the only person of my friends to play this game, and we had a teacher who was like fully oh, bald. There, fancy pants. Oh, hi yourself. We had a, like a teacher who was fully bald, and I always used to call him Sheriff Shinetop, and he thought it was funny because he'd played the game, you see. My friends were always like, What do you mean, Sheriff Shinetop? Who's that? Da -da -da -da. Could you hurry up? I was the geek of I the group. I was hoping to close early today. Got a what special on shovels today. Well, I think I'd just like to browse for now. Okay. Wake me up if you need anything. I do, actually. I need to talk to you for a what moment. What do you want? Well, I think I'd just like to browse for now. Whatever. Oh, I can't talk to him properly yet. What do you want? Well, I think I'd just like to browse for now. Okay, but don't put your lips on anything. That's what she said. Okay, I thought I could uh, start the next bit of that, but I can't yet. God, they have done such an amazing job with this. I also invested in the uh, Secret Monkey Island 2 remake. Why can't the XCOM creators do something like this? I mean, this is perfect. It's just the original, no massive changes. Just updated to a more modern game. I mean, how difficult is that? Do 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 Okay, we need to look for the circus. I can't remember where it is. Ah, it's at the clearing, isn't it? Is it? Aha, yes, that's what we needed. Welcome to the circus, folks. I get in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can't do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. <laughs> you don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. <laughs> Ruffian. <laughs> Thump. Weasel. Shall we introduce ourselves, folks? Oh, that's the line! Oh, that's such a famous line. I've actually got that on a t-shirt, I kid you not. I'm selling these fine leather jackets. <laughs> oh, I'm selling these fine jackets, sorry. I'm selling these fucks. Bloody hell, you two are fast. A once in a lifetime chance to perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. Uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. Amazing, Put your mind up. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying! Ferrocini brothers! That's us! My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. Alfredo and Bill. All you have to do is get in the cannon and we'll shoot you out of it. Um. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? Well... I guess I'll do it, but how much will you pay me? How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of eight? Hmm, deal. Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of course I have a helmet. Of course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure that it's a safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No, sorry. 
Alfredo and Bill. Interesting name. Oh, maybe I have to give the pot. Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Yay! Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet and get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! <laughs> Echo! Oh. It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> hey! Are you okay? Do I look okay? Where's my helmet? I'm Bobbin. Are you, <laughs> are you my mother? I'm Bobbin. Are you my mother? <laughs> He's alright! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. Just a recompense for aiding us. The basic theory is fine. We just need to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. Oh god, not no again. Me. Not me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! I love that word, fop. Now I always remember as well when I play this, because I used to play this game originally on the Amiga. I always remember as well that like, when I first figured out that bit, when you finally get a little bit of money, I was just like blown away that I'd managed to figure it out. I was like, wow, I'm so good at computer games, I figured it all out, yada yada. I was really proud of myself that day. That means we can now go back to the store keep. Look at this background here, folks. It's that, it really is just beautiful. Now we can speak to this guy. Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? Hmm. No, but... No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Hmm, I wouldn't mind buying one. one. existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. Hmm. Go on, then. I'll take it. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Now get lost. Don't be mean to your customers, you. I think I've been had. This is no map. It looks like... dancing lessons. Back, two, three, four, left, two, three... God damn it. See, there's even conmen in the Caribbean. <sighs> right, to the storekeep. And he's wandered off. Let's use the bell. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. Who you call an idiot? What do you want? I think I'd just like to browse for now. Whatever. But well, I do want to buy from you, please, sir. That sword. And that shovel. Hurry up! Got a good deal on swords right now. I know. I'm going to buy one from you. What do you want? About this shovel. About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? How much is it? How much is it? Oh, another would-be treasure hunter, eh? That'll cost you 75 pieces of eight. That's a good deal. I'll take that. I'll take it. Great. 
Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. What do you better do, old man? Up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> what else do you want? I also want your sword, please, sir. About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of eight you ever spent. What else do you want? Hmm. Now that I have this sword, who can I test it out on? Now that I have this sword, who can I test it out on? Well, if you're looking for a good fight, we've got the best sword fighter in all the Caribbean right here on Melee Island. Trademark. Of course, no one knows where her secret hideout is. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. <laughs> and that's funny that he says once there. And don't touch anything! There's a reason he says once, folks. Because basically, we have to follow him. And you can actually follow him multiple times. Because if you mess this first following attempt up, then basically you can do it at, like hundreds of times, as many times as you want, and each time you do it again, he gets like more mad. <laughs> so it is quite funny. Oh damn, I didn't mean to go in there. I might have lost him now, unfortunately. Did I lose him? I've got a feeling I've lost him. Oh no, he's still there. Now pick up those flat, uh, plants while you're here. You need those. Do 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 do. God, they have out. Oh, this game, man, it's so perfectly rendered and oh, it looks perfect, man. Ah, a secret sign switch. Oh, I keep doing that. I click off the screen. I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Good thinking, Guybrush. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the uh, business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, cut it out. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Take a hike and don't come out here again. Someone might follow you, and then I'd become another Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Well, folks, we have now met, indirectly, the Swordmaster of Malay Island. Or Malay Island, sorry. <laughs>